Welcome to Majitudes. In today's tutorial, we are going to have a look at the four best ways to make text pop in Adobe Photoshop. For this purpose, I have already created various designs here in Photoshop. Now, let's dive right into it. The first method to make text pop in Photoshop is actually to just make sure that you choose the right font style and color for your text. You can easily see that our title here is hardly visible and really doesn't stand out at all. Well, the main reason why this text here is not ideal is because we don't have the right color for our text. So the first thing that we would do here to make it stand out more is to actually change the color into something brighter. To do so, simply double click on your text and then here in the toolbar adjust the color. In my case, I will simply choose white. As you can see now, just changing the color in our design makes a huge difference in our case. Another thing that usually makes a huge difference is to actually use all caps for your texts. So to make it pop even more, I would double click on the text again and then I'm simply going to write this again in all caps. As our text is slightly too big now, I will have to reduce the size a little bit. For that purpose, again, double click here in the text field. Then here in the toolbar, simply choose a lower point size. So I will go with something like maybe 20. Maybe that's too small, let's say 25. And as you can see now, our text now pops even more simply because we used all caps. In fact, in this very particular design here, the effect is not that big because the contrast between those two colors here has been very high from the get-go. However, in other designs, just making the title or text all caps will make a huge difference. Now, last but not least, as I have already briefly mentioned, choosing the right font for your design is also of utmost importance. And this becomes clear when we have a look at our second picture here. The reason why this nature text in our design here is really hard on the eyes is mainly because the font is not ideal for this type of design. So to make this look nicer, once again double click on the text and then here in the character toolbar choose a different font. When we browse through here through the different fonts, you will see that immediately we see the new fonts on our design. However, like this, it's really hard to understand how this will actually look in our design because our text here is still highlighted, so that's not ideal. However, there's a little workaround for this. So what we will do is we will deselect the text by simply left-clicking once outside of our design. And now instead of double-clicking on the text, we will simply left-click once on the text. And then like this in the character toolbar, if you browse through the different fonts here, you will see that now we can actually see how those fonts are going to look like on our design. And like this, it's going to be much easier for us to make a good decision on which font actually looks best on our design. And as you can easily see, depending on the font that we choose here, the text either stands out very well and in other cases it just looks horrible. So for example, a good font for this design would be the bungee font here. Because this is a very bold and powerful font and as you can see with this font the text stands out like crazy, which usually is a great thing. So I'm just going to reposition that text here so that it is in the middle of our design. And just like this, we made our text pop in Adobe Photoshop like a boss. And that's it for method number one. Let's have a look at method number two to make text stand out in Photoshop. For this purpose, I have prepared this lovely fishing background. For the moment, we still have our lovely bungee font here. And just like this, this already looks okay. However, we can make this pop out even more by using method 2, which is to apply drop shadows to your texts. To apply a drop shadow to your text, go into the Layers panel. If you don't have the Layers panel here in, the, in your sidebar, you can simply go to Window in the top bar menu and then choose Layers. Another way is to simply press F7 on your keyboard to open up the Layers panel. The next step is to make sure that the right layer is selected. So in our case here, I'm working on the Artboard 3 design 
and our fishing text here would be the one here under our port 3. So I'm just going to make sure to click on that. And once our text layer is selected, the next step for us is to open up here the effects panel where it says FX. Once that one is open, simply click on drop shadow. And just like that, you will see that a nice little drop shadow has been added to your text. Now the next step is to click here on where it says OK. And as you can see now, our text here stands out like crazy because we have this lovely little drop shadow. Please note that in my case now here, the drop shadow opacity is set to 100. And this is why this has such a dramatic effect. You can obviously play with these settings. So I will go into the effects panel here again and click on drop shadow. And instead of 100%, let us try something like maybe uh, 30%. Then click on OK. And as you can then see, we still have this nice little drop shadow effect, but it's just not that crazy. Maybe also let me just reposition our text here and put that in the, on top. And as you can see, our text now still looks great. Maybe I'll just put it a little bit more here in the middle. And that's it for method number two. Let's move to method number three to make text pop in Photoshop. To illustrate method number three, I have chosen this picture here of a DJ and I added the text DJ, which actually looks really nice. However, the problem obviously is that it doesn't stand out. So how can we change that? Well, we can change that with our method number three, which is to apply a stroke to your text. To do so, simply double click on your text. Then once again here in the layers panel, make sure that the right text layer is selected and then open up the effects menu down here. And this time choose stroke. And just like that, we have a lovely little stroke around our text here in our DJ picture. You can obviously play here with the layer style settings. So if you would like to increase the stroke size, you can simply move this fader here to the right and you will end up with a bigger stroke size. In this particular case here, I like a stroke size of three pixels. I think that looks really good. But in other cases, maybe that might be too low and you will need a stroke size of five PX or even higher. For maximum contrast, I have chosen a white color for my stroke, but you can obviously also adjust the color by simply clicking here in the color square and choose something else, maybe orange or green or whatever we want. And the cool thing about Photoshop is that it will show you all these changes in real time. So it will be very easy for you to find the right color. And once you found it, simply confirm by clicking on OK. I will go back to my white color here because that's what I like best for this design. I will click here on OK. And then in our layer style menu, we will also have to confirm that by clicking OK once again. And we are all good. And now, last but not least, let us have a look at our last great way to make text pop in Adobe Photoshop, which is by using an overlay layer on your background. To do so, we will once again open up the layers panel, but this time you will have to make sure that your background layer is selected. In our case, this is the Chicago background layer. So I'll simply click on that and then we will click here on this little circle symbol and from there select solid color. Now in the color picker, make sure to choose a black color and you will then see that our lovely Chicago background is now completely covered in black because we now have this overlay layer on top of it. Don't forget to click on OK. And now as we obviously still want to blend in our background, what we have to do here is to lower the opacity because the opacity now is set to 100%. And that is why the background for now is completely hidden. To adjust this setting, once again, go into the layers panel and where it says opacity, lower that, set that to something like 50%. And just like that, we got our awesome background back. And just like that, our Chicago text now stands out like a boss. And it's a wrap. And that's it, guys. Those were the four best ways to make text pop in Adobe Photoshop. I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell. I hope you guys have a great one. Bye.